Alright, so with solo leveling, we know that there's a new weapon upon us. Now, I've already made a video telling you guys and informing you guys we've got two sets of new weapons. Well, technically three. Number one, we've got the skewer that is more than likely going to be releasing with this week's update, right? Because that will then conclude the summer vacation content, of course. Um, we know that there is a new dark weapon of a spear form to be releasing and a new weapon to be guild exclusive so those are like the three weapons um, we know of two of what they are one being could be the guild weapon or could be, be the patron weapon we don't know of all right so that's pretty much what we've got going on now we also know that obviously the fire element will be the skewer the spear will be dark and you know we know how dark is right now loki cooking um, and then obviously again the, uh, the the third weapon we don't know of and what that's going to be now what if i told you that the newest dark spear weapon has got a little bit of Minato in it. A little bit of, let's say, flying Raijin within it. So here is pretty much what we know of right now. Um, guys are looking very, very cute right there. But pretty much, um, with the main ability, you throw it and then it gets stuck into the ground. Then like the scatty finger, you pretty much finger snap and then you teleport to the spear uh, at any time with a lightning shockwave lightning shockwave very interesting so that is pretty much what we've got going on and what's going to be releasing i'm not gonna lie just by hearing about the fact that we can kind of flying rise in our way around the goddamn area just by throwing the spear that to me is already a big seller point <laughs> i'm sorry i'm i mean imagine having that as a weapon and then um let me have a look if i go to sanjin Wu. now i'm being completely honest i might do myself a bit of a naruto build and what i'm talking about that is keep as the spear being the flying raijin right this skill kind of gives me chidori effects right and then where is it where is it there's one skill is it this on point yeah this one gives me like that that rasengan vibe loki that <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, the setup is completely awkward. I'm not going to lie. I mean, well, and technically given shield protection, then having the um, attack and defense drop, I mean, that's not bad. And then the spear itself doing whatever it can, along with the plum sword, because that's what we're going to be pairing up with. Kind of the obvious. Um, yeah, that, that's that's the Naruto build, low key. Uh, unless there's anything else that I'm missing that could possibly fit. Um, but yeah, no, I'm I'm sorry. To, to, to have a teleportation weapon like that, yeah, boys, it's a, it's a done deal. It's a done deal. Now, another thing which I do want to talk about is to kind of get the developers to wake up a little bit. Now, what do I mean by that? So, as you guys are aware, the developers are really, really slacking on providing us with this w w with key information, right? Alpha even mentioned that, hence why why Alpha's been a little bit more aggressive, and rightfully so. With the developers, they tend to rely on these live streams that are like hours before the update but the problem with all of that is that even with what they show us within the live stream it's not the finalized character which is weird <laughs> really weird even hours before the update you would think that they would have everything squared away but last minute they decide to change things on characters that we have seen happen and um yeah it just comes it, it kind of puts us in, in, in that position of especially with a, a lot of you guys because it's like many of you guys are kind of wa waiting to be like right do we summon like, is this guy is this character worthy like it's 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 putting on a big big delay people just kind of want to get on with it summon get on with it getting the characters etc and it's just like is it worth it is it really worth it is it worth getting the dupes etc um with what we saw beforehand with the character to where they are right now they've changed so what do we do right now is it it's just annoying and frustrating again with previous games that i've played i've not been in a position where i've had to deal with that i've always known ahead of time on what I'm getting myself in for so that way I can pre-plan on what I should do where my account is at is this character worthy all oh, the characters broken how many dupes should I go in what packs to buy again this is more for the pay to win side of things what bundles to buy what packs you know right so it, it, it does like right now it is kind of getting to me because I'm just like I, I want to know what these characters are actually doing with the next two characters coming out and again with the kits that we've seen one looks good one looks trash but it's not the finalized kit even with the live stream and that's another thing which I need to, I need to uh, pick a bone with. Okay, so with the Korean page, they informed everyone about a live stream 
days before it was happening. This is just a reminder post, by the way. It says August 13th. But they put up another post just to make sure that everyone was reminded that a live thing was happening. Even on the form page, there was a remind. Uh, sorry, um, days before leading up to this live stream, um, people were aware on what time it was happening. And again, this helps out a lot of people on scheduling that time out of their day to be like, right, let me see. You know, if, if I can free up some time, then I've got this to look forward to. That way, I can get informed on what's going to be releasing for the update, and then I can furthermore pre-plan for the update itself and whether or not if I want to go for the character. Of course, same for the JP side of things. They have been. Pro, uh, yeah, well, to be fair, as you guys can see, tomorrow there's going to be a JP live stream, same time. And again, they have informed everyone about this live stream days beforehand. I, again, from this live stream, it's crazy in the fact that we're having to rely on the KR and the JP live stream because what's going to happen is literally a, a day before, or maybe 24 hours, or maybe even hours into the update about to release, they'll probably announce to say that there's going to be a, a live stream happening. And again, the timing of the live stream is going to be super, super annoying because it's going to be like early in the morning. Especially, well, then again, if you are in the US, then it will be, I think, in the late evening. But pretty much, we are relying on live stream like these to give us the key information about on what's to come. Because what's going to happen is literally a day before, like 24 hours before, or maybe going into the 24 hour mark, because that's what they technically do, just an FYI. Literally, they do a live stream hours before the update goes live to give us a non-finalized look at the character to then do their little bit of change. It, it, that doesn't make sense to me. So they, they need to do better in my eyes. Like at this point, I don't even care for the live stream. Just give me a finalized document look on the character. Hell, you can do it in a developer note. Oh, that's not it. Okay, <laughs> so uh, you can do it on the form page. Drop a developer note. I don't. At this point, I do not care for the live stream. Like, I need the key information on what's going down. I need the finalized look, pre pre preferably 24 hours beforehand. You know, um, and if you are going to do the live streams, let people know days before, so that way people can actually attend and prepare. Um, for these upcoming live streams rather than doing it last minute and just it just being like oh god damn it, i'm not gonna be able to attend because those that are in europe you know it's in the goddamn in the morning like three in the goddamn morning like ah uh, it's it's yeah they, they, they need to do better that's all i can say you know what i'm just gonna give an extra 200 codes out of a thousand essence why not even though i gave 500 out in the previous videos um here's here's, here's another 200 why not again to all the people that um, chose to support me um recently um, I've sent you guys all your guaranteed codes. I'm still waiting for the next code set to be sent and then I'll send those out, of course. Again, to the newcomers, um, the giveaway link is always down below. Just, you know, give me your details and then if you get, well, if you win, then you just get yourself some deluxe passes. Why not? It's, it's, it's on me, boys. It's on me. So, just kind of want to put a reminder out there for the newcomers. Um, I'm going to be honest, though. That weapon, imagine if it was a kunai. <sighs> Yo, imagine if it was a kunai. Aye, that being said, next weapon, guild exclusive weapon, kunai, or next rate up weapon. Loki, they have to make it happen. Give me a kunai weapon. Come on now.